Joshua Wilba Musimami and Mubala Samoko are some of the top candidates that have so far declared their bid to join the race to succeed the late Kumbani of Bugwere Kingdom as legitimate leaders. The race between the two has also steered division among clan leaders and family members who are in support of Godfrey Wayabire the son of Leti Kumbania, John Chrysostom Wayabire. The two have vowed to enthrone themselves on 14th this month, saying the kingdom has since the demise of Kumbania been hanging in balance with no legitimate leader. The problem of Bugwere. Bugwere, we have many groups. So far we are divided. And we are supposed to be in one. Since the death of John Chrysostom Wayabire in February this year, several individuals have been trying to claim stewardship of the kingdom illegally. These include Joshua Wilbur, Mobala Samuku, and Godfrey Wayabire, the son of the late Ikumbania. During her visit to Bugwere Kingdom, the State Minister for Gender and Culture, Peace Motozo, advised the Elders Council of the Bugwere Cultural Institution to first set up a constitutional review committee ahead of the elections of the new cultural leader. The constitutional review is intended to bring all factions together for the good of the Bagwere. All the different groups, each one is fighting for, for its own interests, not fighting for the best or for the good of the common people. But they are fighting for their own interests. Therefore, if government does not intervene in time, we shall continue like this and shall be missing out on government programs. Our aim is to leave legacy to those who will come after, knowing that Bugwere, how did it start and how has it existed, not following what people need as their interests. The resolution was reached during a meeting attended by clan leaders and political leaders, officials from Security and Ministry of Gender, chaired by the RDC Kibuku, first cultural leader of Bugwere Institution, John Chrysostom Wayabide, succumbed to COVID-19 on February 7, 2022 at Entebbe Hospital.